What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. So I have promised you a budget build on the channel for some time now and thankfully, thanks to Box.co.uk and Cooler Master, I can finally make that happen. So what I'm going to do for this budget build is break it into three parts. So definitely make sure that you turn on those notifications just to make sure you don't miss out. So in part one, we are going to go over the parts that I will be using for the build. Part two, I will do a complete build guide and show you how to go ahead and build this PC from start to finish, including stuff like overclocking and all that good stuff. And in part three, we will obviously benchmark it, see how well it performs, etc., and see if we can make any improvements. So with that said, guys, let's jump in and take a look at the parts. So let's start with the processor. If you're building on a budget, then Ryzen, in my opinion, is where the best value lies, and I have chosen to go for the Ryzen 3 1200. This is a great budget CPU, and when you throw an overclock on it, hopefully around the 3.8 or 3.9 mark, we will see good performance boost. And what's more, due to its low power consumption, we can even use the stock Wraith cooler when overclocked, as it does a great job and the temperatures will not be an issue, and this will also save you some money. But if you want to go ahead and try and push the overclock fuller to 4GHz etc or even higher then I would definitely suggest buying another cooler so I will leave a few links down below just in case you want to go down that route. The motherboard that I will be pairing the 1200 up with is the MSI B350 Gaming Plus. This motherboard is packed with all the features you will need, will allow us to get a good overclock and overall it looks great and will suit the black and red colour scheme that I am aiming for. So at this point we all know that Ryzen likes fast RAM, so I have opted to pick up 8GB of HyperX Predator. This RAM should definitely get the job done for us and honestly, I am a fan of the looks here. So the graphics card that I have opted to go for is probably a little overkill, but I wanted that black and red theme to just pop, so the MSI 1050Ti Gaming X was definitely where I had to go. This little card performs very well for the price, especially when you overclock it. And honestly, normally I would complain about the black and red shroud, but since that is the look we are going for, then honestly it definitely had to be done. The only annoyance here is that it doesn't include a backplate, which I do find pretty annoying. I don't like looking at builds without backplates. It may be just me, but I'm going to go ahead and probably make one. It's super easy to do with acrylic, etc. And if you haven't seen my video on how to make a backplate, I will leave it linked down below just in case you want to go ahead and attempt that for yourself. So for storage, I am at a stage now where I would only recommend you get your OS on an SSD and I have picked up a 120GB Kingston UV400. If your budget does allow for it, then you could also pick up a 2TB Seagate Fire CUDA, but the 120GB will be fine for the OS and maybe one or two games, obviously depending on how large it is. But if you have loads of games in your library, then I would definitely pick up the other drive as well, just to make sure you are not disappointed. Power supply wise, I have chosen the Cooler Master Master Watt Lite 400. I have been using Cooler Master power supplies in my builds for some time now and have never been let down, so I feel that it's definitely a good option. So last up, the case that I will be using is probably one of the best value for money cases that I have seen in a long time that I personally think looks great, and that is the Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5 RGB. So for £59 here in the UK, you are getting a tempered glass side panel and three 120mm RGB fans up front in a case that I feel looks absolutely fantastic. And for that price, I honestly wouldn't look any further and I cannot wait to build in this case. Okay, so that is all the parts for the build. So if you go ahead and put all the parts into PC Part Picker and compare the price to what you will see on box.co.uk, you will see that there is about a 50 to 60 pounds kind of price hike. But I've come up with a little deal with Box where if you use my code BTEC, which I will leave linked down below, you will actually get 50 pounds off. And not only that, when they build your PC, obviously you will have things like warranty, free delivery, support, and all that good stuff. So if you would rather build it yourself, you can also go over there and get all the parts. And in part two, I will show you how to put all of this together. So all the links will be down below in the description for that. So let me know what you think of the build down below. Also, let me know if there are any parts that you would have swapped out or do different from what I have done as I'm definitely keen to know what you guys think. So as always guys, make sure you like, subscribe, 
and obviously turn on your notifications for part two. So thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for being kind. Thank <laughs> you.